Um, we tried it at one place where I had to get some some files moving. Worked out pretty well through a couple of my uh, Jetpack USBs into um, an adapter on my uh, MacBook. Bonded them together with the Wi-Fi, and I was able to get a good like 40 meg upload speed to send a file that I needed to for a client a couple weeks ago while I was on the road. Fantastic. So then... Uh, last week I was doing an educational conference and we had something at new place I'd never done before. It was a double tree, uh, up there in Cranberry and they had, they had some pretty good speed and we were etherneted in and we worked with them and with the, with the people, uh, uh, on venue. And I was like, you know what? You got good speeds, but I want to make sure this works. So what I did was I took two of my jetpacks of Verizon and AT&T. I threw it in this thing. I loaded up Speedify just in case because we had two very major vendors uh, calling in and giving their presentations via Teams to a room of about 200 students. So you don't want this thing to fail. And, and I always say, it doesn't matter if it's your fault the internet went down. You're the last line of defense, and you're the person everybody's going to look at when the thing doesn't work in our position in, in a video production. The biggest thing was Speedify. They invited me to a Zoom call, like straight up without any other email. Like they got my email from my account and emailed me and now I have on my calendar like some kind of Zoom call meeting about Speedify and I have no idea what it is. So I think their marketing is a little overbearing. I've never had this experience with something like this before, right? And I think this is like kind of a, a, a relatively uh, prosumer, you know, even lower end, you know, kind of kind of product. And I, I, have you guys ever seen that? Like, uh, uh, Chili, you you deal with vendors all the time. Have you ever seen that kind of situation happen? No, no. it's not that aggressive. Like, that's weird, right? Yeah. So Speedify, great product. Slow your roll, little guys, okay? <laughs> that's my only advice for you right now. So I don't know, Katie, you, you dealt with some interesting uh, uh, vendors, I'm sure, over the years for your uh, many, many things that you've done. Have you ever, ever run into something like that? No, I've never. No, you know what? No, there was one at some point, but I can't remember what it was, but it was a tech thing. And it was just like, this is a thing. And I'm like, what is this thing on my calendar? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, but like that way, it's been once in how many years of doing things. So, yeah. yeah. So well, I actually put some pictures over there in the uh, Facebook group. Um, and uh, so uh, and, and, and I was like, I'm going to do this. It's at a fallback. Uh, all the cellulars are secondary, and you can see my, because I do have a MacBook Pro that we're using, and you see my jetpacks from the live view <laughs> are just jammed into this thing with the, um, with the uh, you know, you, you know with, with the dongle that is also carrying the Ethernet. So I don't know, maybe, I, maybe this didn't work out, because now my failure point is now that dongle that is now USB and Ethernet all coming in over one pipe to my computer. So I don't know if I might have thought this through appropriately. Um, but it'll do that, you know, you, you're, you're on all of those, plus you're on the Wi-Fi, and it looks at all those. So that way, you know, especially for something like a Teams call, which, you know, is basically live streaming, right? And you want to make sure that communication is good. It was a nice, solid situation. We didn't have any problems, and I don't know that, that we would have had problems if we did do just the one thing. But, you know, if something happens, somebody does something crazy, you know, I've talked about the story where I did not bring my live view to an eSports arena that you would think would have the Internet and you wouldn't be worried about it, and then they had a problem. You don't know the problem you're not going to have. You, 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 I mean, you don't know the problem you, you don't know you're going to have. I got a better way I can probably say that. Um, but, uh, but you know, this this is this, this is the kind of thing that, that we have to think about when we're doing media and streaming out there. So I recommend it. It's something like uh, 80 or $90 a year um, when you get it through. You can... So yeah. I, I, I think have we talked about Speedify on this show before. Speedify. Does that sound familiar? Maybe I've shared it and we didn't get to it. Well, um, this is this is a site. Uh, I'm sorry. This is an app that you can put you can put on your phone, your tablet, uh, on and any of your desktop, laptop devices. It's, it supports even Linux at, at this point. Um, so this is something like we talked about the Live View about how we can use the Live View boxes and and, and stream and it bonds together several uh, internet signals, cell phone, Wi-Fi, uh, Ethernet, things like that into one solid signal, right? 
This actually appears to sell itself to do relatively the same thing. I want to live stream from my computer and I want to make sure it's got the fallback and everything like that. But that's not the only thing you could do with this. For me, it's, um, it, it, you know, they, they say more stable, secure, live streaming, video calling, gaming, and web browsing, right? So, you know, for me, fortunately, I have, you know, you know a lot of us have hotspots, you know, in our phones, um, you know, and then, you know, you go to a hotel and the hotel Wi Fi isn't very well, or you go to some place and your phone not great you know for your hotspot i'm in the fortunate situation because of these live views i'm always walking around with an at&t if not two uh verizon and t-mobile so i'm going to find decent internet somewhere unless there's just a complete absolute cellular dead zone for some reason right so i i picked this up it's a uh, 15 a month um there's actually a free version that will let you like connect maybe two and you get i think so much data a month that you can roll through it it works as a vpn so you do get the security situation like you would an, an express vpn but i would not buy it for that express vpn i have very specific sp specific things that i think that is for you know the location uh, i think the security is probably better on express vpn again not having looked into it um, but they're more known for it and and also like i want to pretend i'm in a different place to see certain things right you know we talk about the netflix situation or something like that you want to watch B 